Ross. We're alive. Let's go. Did what we could. You got a check? Uh, for what it's worth, you made the right call back there, yo. When Severide sees these things, he always... Severide did. <coughs> Sorry. Focus on the shift. Right, sure. the academy. Uh, Got a little freedom to get out, stretch my legs. Hey, I, uh, I'm sorry about canceling that date. I just, I never get migraines like that. No problem. Want to try again tomorrow? Maybe catch another movie, make fun of it over some beers? Sure. Yeah, uh, I can, I can get behind that. <laughs> anyway, I should get back. Okay. Catch you tomorrow, okay? Okay. to guarantee just something to consider thanks it's the latest deputy was headed into surgery when we left touching go can i ask you a question give an honest answer no pull punches always do you think it could have made a difference going with a quick pull from the start I was suffering from blood loss, cervical fracture. I mean, you can go down the rabbit hole of what ifs, but I take any difference would have been marginal. Listen, prisoner calls that seat racket to break. You did your job. point of take your daughter to work day to um you know take your daughter to work shouldn't you be showing around the house downtime in the common room is an important part of the job it's not all fire and glory remember that pumpkin okay maybe we could find something for everyone how about the nature channel you like giraffes or not this will work Come on, come on, you're too slow. All right, reset, guys. Let's work on that time. Come on, guys, look alive. Deputy Chief's here. Good to see you're all keeping sharp. You boys mind if I borrow your lieutenant for a minute? No problem. Hey, Cap, you're in charge. Run it again. Okay. I hear you had an interesting call this morning. Rumor is that you tackled a, uh, an escaped prisoner. Is that true? Uh, wasn't a big deal. Guy wasn't getting far. I just happened to be in his way. That call is actually the reason I'm here. I'm getting a lot of questions from HQ, Sheriff's Office, hoping you can give me your perspective. I wasn't the incident commander. On all points of view. Okay. Van went into a viaduct head-on. The driver, the deputy, he was pinned in by the steering column. On the captain's orders, we brought in a ram. On to... the captain's orders. Right. He, we thought it was... He or we? Who decided to leave the driver in harm's way? We. It was a fair call. We operate as a team. Well, 
I appreciate you giving me the time, Kelly. I'll let you get back to your drill. You tell the big guy to loosen his grip. He's creating too much drag. Sorry. Hey, guys. Chief. Captain, help me out. All morning, I've got the sheriff's office in my ear. They say the CFD bungled the rescue of a deputy while cutting a prisoner loose. Is that true? Just walk us through the incident. I understand the steering column struck him in the chest as you raised it. It did. The uh, prisoner broke the seat bracket when he was kicking a panel trying to escape. The column struck the victim, but he was already in bad shape when we found him. Massive blood loss, neck injury, pinned in. We considered a rapid extrication, but after evaluating the driver, they made the determination that the risk of death from cervical fracture was too great. To you be. made the determination? I did, yeah. Based on the paramedic's assessment? based on my years of experience rescuing accident victims. No, I don't doubt that. But the fact is you left them in there bleeding out fractured neck with some animal in the back rocking a the boat. There are no good options. None? Is that true? What about your squad lieutenant? Did he have any options or was he in lockstep agreement the whole time? Why, did he say something? I'm just asking a question. 